Welcome back everybody one more time to another episode of this beautiful Let's Play. So... We do have some depressed people, unfortunately he's still somewhat depressed. She's in a pretty good place, she's still sick, but we need to fetch some water, which she will do. And we need to gather some healing herbs, which she will do. We can use some wood, we can always use more wood. Um, she's going to explore, he's in the tavern. However, he's alone right now. So how about we... Oop, sorry, my bad. We put him in here. So they should relax together. That should be fine. Then they will both be fine. Can work the day pretty well. And yeah, I'm... I'm looking forward to the outcome of this. <clears throat> now, we don't have enough portable water for that. Now she can explore. And talking about exploration. Um, what were you? Oh, you were uh, Loki, I think it was. Let's go here. Let's examine it. She's pretty smart. The really oh, sorry, I clicked. <laughs> Even though some parts of the cars have been damaged by the elements, they are around the embroidery is in perfect condition. This room must bear a powerful meaning uh, to be staged like that. Ruins from North of S Alphabet. And you know it, but you've never seen that one. That's crazy. I'm starting to wonder if it's real or someone made up the design of the rune. Let's try it again. Here we go. Remember reading a parchment about long lost Furthark runes. This story, uh, this rune is one of them. It was is its name, and you think it is linked with horses, but then why would it be in, uh, in a boat? No, you know there was more to it. Try to remember more. Nice. Ah, now you remember. You knew your curiosity would pay off someday. It was, was indeed linked to horses, but to imply movement, travel, and if memory serves you right, most of the time it was used for travel between worlds for a stank. For instance, to bring warriors to Valhalla. Okay, so she's getting smarter. I'm gonna steal some twigs here. Sure, our daughter can do it. There's enough twigs in there for you to steal. Oh, a few for the camp. You'll be able to wood to carry it easily. As we're finishing the bale, it's starting to feel a bit bad though. Drained, which is strange, since it wasn't that much effort. It's just fatigue. We can take more. She's not particularly fatigued, so this will work fine. She, she can do it. She, she, she's not gonna get as much wood, but she can take the fatigue easily without it being any kind of problem. Um, that was wrong. Let's, do, let's get the rest of the wood. But she can take it, she doesn't have much fatigue. Well, we're all getting through, but she's probably getting slightly less fatigue. Yeah, she's getting less fatigue than that one. Okay, that's okay. Let's check inside the boat. They come. You approach the boat to check what's inside. The main cargo is about your size and makes you feel uneasy. Let's assess the pass package. Shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. You can't believe your eyes. This can't be. You shake your head and stand up. Oh, it was you, me. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, you are not mistaken. It's you. The hair, the face, the clothing. It's you. There's no doubt about it. But how... You are alive, you're here, you can't be dead. Oh, wow, we're getting so much depression now. With a trembling hand, you touch the corpse. It's cold, but still you. It's real then, but it can't be. It's a nightmare. You're going to wake up. You slap yourself hard, hoping to wake up, and again and again and again, letting tears run wild on your face. You stop when your face is nothing but pain. You open your puffy eyes and look at the corpse's face. Your face, but it's not you anymore. The face you're seeing is deeply burned, making its features not recognizable. Pretty sure it was just moments ago. Enough snaps. You let yourself be flooded with a conflicting emotion. The laugh is okay. You need a break from this place. Oh, that wasn't good. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try it again, actually. We, oh, we can finish the future, funeral approach the corpse. The approach the corpse. The corpse is the same state it was left when you discovered it. We can honor the dead or we can loot the corpse. I don't know what the hidden condition is, but we met it. For the funeral of this fashion, people always lavish the dead with the belongings so that they can be used in the afterlife. It makes you uneasy, but you remove the whole cloth from the deceased 
From the clothes and the weapon, you can say that that was a warrior. Retrieve some weapons and jewels before covering up the corpse again. We got arrows, which is awesome, we didn't have any. We got a crown. We lowered depression by robbing a dead guy. So that's good. Mm. Thank you again. Maybe we can finish the... I wouldn't have just finished the funeral. Let's honor the dead. I feel like you owe the dead some homage. You would wish the same to you when the time comes. You kneel and close your eyes. For some reason, you feel a big knot in your throat and you start to cry. You don't even know the diseased, so why are you so affected? Oh god. You open your eyes and see your mother in the boat. How can she? The vision fades away as you stand. Now you see your father. You shake your head to make the vision go away and it does. Why are you thinking about their deaths? As you ponder the thought, a raven pokes your head with its beak. It releases a freshly cut plant from its beak before flying away. We've got some healing herbs. It's nice. But we traded for a lot of depression. Uh, let's finish the funeral. I don't know what happened to the people who staged the funeral, but if someone has to give the dead a proper rest. But I don't, let's burn the dead. I know that you're supposed to burn these. We decide to follow the Norse fashion to torch the boat. You get a torch from the camp and light the boat. Okay, one wood. That's not too bad. We got a lot, lot of wood from this. Um, we unfortunately can't make more fabric right now, so that's kind of a big loss. You then push it away from the shore. You watch the boat burn as it goes offshore. May the spirits of the dead travel safely to the other side. We're about to go back to camp when you see a raven swoop onto the boat, and then flies towards you, something in its beak. You catch the gift of the Swan of Odin as it falls. It's a bead made of strange gold metal. It shines prettily. Ooh, we got three. That's what the lady asked for. And we got a, and we got the raven. Mm, look real quick what we've got here. Charisma plus five and intelligence plus five. Sweet. We're gonna use both of these. Mm. Let's do this. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to do something else. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take him. I want to take her, but decrease sickness mostly. And the girl can drink. And we are not going to explore for one day. I think this is gonna work better. Uh, she's gonna have to fetch water, we need the water. And we're gonna need to get some food tonight, but that's all of that is kind of okay. So we are gonna go to the lady first. Sent the clever lady. Welcome child, do you have something for me? Yeah, the gold beads. She seems really impressed. For a moment, she was rendered speechless, staring at the three little beads in the palm of your hand. What? Well, by my father, you found them. I'm truly impressed, child. You're not just a rock against the tide, you're a ship against the storm. Can we talk? We have many unanswered questions. Of course, child. You deserve my full cooperation. But first, take this. She produces a strange, polished, multicolored stone ball in the shape of a skull. Then, she introduces the little beads you gave her into a small slit in the skull. The effect is immediate. The skull ball now shines with gold and purple aura. What the hell is that thing? Don't be afraid. It's not made to hurt you. It's the final solution to all your problems. It just needs some fuel to make it work again. What is this cool thing? The vacuum. A strong artifact. I built in secret during all these years. It has the power of the Great Void. It can suck up an infinite amount of energy and just delete it from all plane of its existence. It was strictly forbidden to build such a dangerous tool back when people were alive. They feared above all else to lose their precious power. But now it's our only hope to see another century. I just need some fuel to make it work again. What are the beads? Orki... <laughs> Ori Kalkum. That's the name. When people discovered the most precious metal, everything changed. These stones, used the right way, have wonderful capabilities beyond what you could imagine. 
We use them as the source of power for nearly everything our Arcaneers invented. A single beard has the power of more than 50 horses for a century long. I just need some fuel to make it work again. So what is it all about? Yeah, what are we doing here? That, that's a good question. What are we doing? In a few years time, everything on this island will die. I've known this fact for a while now. But a few years ago, I lost hope and I put myself in deep sleep. When you woke me up, I thought that maybe things may change. What will happen? There is a big volcano on this island. It will erupt and engulf everything. There will be nothing left. It's not a stand that will came in, no, you see. It's a trap. A trap? By who? I'm ready to know this, believe me. Is it Loki? Because I've met Loki. And I heard that Thor is actually standing on the volcano. You can think of it as the most powerful god there is. So Thor? Isn't Thor the most powerful one? Somehow we upset him long ago and we're still paying the price. So if you believe me, there's no solution. What about the skull and the beads? Oh, there is a solution, quite simple in fact. You just have to enter the heart of the volcano. There is a passage carved in stone. Bring the vacuum there and we'll do all the work. It will shut down the volcano forever. That's hard to believe. I know, but don't worry. You don't have to believe since you can't do it. If you enter the heart, you'll die. Not from the heart, but from the archaic protections placed there. So we do nothing, we die, and if we do something, we also die? Yes, unless I can forge an armor and imbue it with power to protect you from harm. But for that, I need much more rake calcum than you brought me. How much? So I will bring me four more auric calcum beads, and will be enough to forge a helmet. Okay, and for a price. She's a goddess, right? I'm not gonna ask Zelda Gordas to for a prize. Splendid. Yeah, take these. It will help you in your quest. We got some color potions. Okay. Okay. Can can't you make Beyond do it? It seems like Beyond should be the, be the one doing it. And also, it took me forever to get three of these beads, and I need four more just for the helmet. And she wants to make an entire armor. There's gonna be like dozens of these freaking beads. I'm actually somewhat depressed now. I'm wondering why my people aren't that depressed. It feels like they should be really depressed over this. Hey, I feel the headache. She's gotten really high on wisdom. That's awesome. Unfortunately, she's somewhat depressed now. <laughs> that didn't help a lot. Okay, that helped a lot. I'm happy with this. Mm. She definitely needs to do it at least one more time. He... Nope. What am I doing? She needs to do this again. Unfortunately, it didn't go down a whole lot, but it went down a bit. He needs to do this. He can do this. He's getting depressed while fishing, which is kind of bad, but um, he's gonna have to go to the depression place soon anyway. Um, she's also pretty depressed, but I'm gonna use her to catch some fruit, I guess. Because our people are starting to get hungry. He's building. He's building. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I forgot to look up here. Okay, we have increased our exploration speed, which is nice. I wonder if it already applies now. I hope it applies now. I love that you actually see that we've built this. Oh, she got a lot of fruit. We also got a lot of fish, so we should be fine. I mean, meat, we don't have meat, and meat is the thing that gives all the hunger thing. Like, meat definitely is the best thing against hunger. And we do get quite a lot when hunting. The problem is we have a limited amount of arrows, and he gets hurt while doing it. Oh, she didn't finish.
Let's do it like this. Um, Do we have something to, we want to use? We do have the cola potions, which help against depression and fatigue, but we're gonna use them by tomorrow instead. Oh, Freya said. I find it hard to believe. Me too. We shouldn't discount what she told us too soon. A lot of what she said resonated inside me. I don't know how to say it, but I feel something deep inside. Should we investigate or we should focus on Bion? Well, Bion is the bigger issue. It is the bigger issue, but we should investigate what she's talking about. Maybe she can help us with Bion. Like, maybe, maybe we can make, like, quid pro, pro quo. Like, I mean, she's a goddess, so I'm sure she can deal with Bion, right? We should investigate. I think there is some truth behind the words. There is no hesitation. We must do as she says. There's no arguing that there are many strange things happening on this island. She said she and her people lived here long ago, and apparently they were a very advanced people. We could call the technologies as magical or even godly with our knowledge. So that would make sense, in a way. But if she's, what she said is true, we're all gonna die. Well, yeah, but the truth doesn't become false just because you don't like the outcome of it. You know, I can't just say, you know what, I'm not poor, I'm super rich, and suddenly start spending money, you know what I mean? Uh, don't just hide from the truth. If we find enough beads to make this magical armor, we may enter the volcano and stop it. I can't believe I'm saying this. What do you think, Eric? I think we should treat the most immediate danger first. If we die from starvation, this volcano can erupt. I don't care. And if Bjorn is upset and slits our throats, that's the same. So if we want to investigate this madness, I'm okay with it. As long as we don't neglect the more immediate real dangers. My oh my. So it's true what they say. Hmm? That you can find the purest beauty in the depth of hell. Dude, that's my wife, dude. That's my wife. You better get your slimy little fingers off. What? We haven't been properly introduced. Sorry. Some call me the Black Monk, but you can call me Eustache. You must try land right away. Yep. Hi, Eustache. Pleased to meet you. I'm Bloodwet, Eric's wife. <laughs> Carrie right there is our beloved daughter. Don't come near her, or I'll smash your skull. Yeah, I think we reacted correctly here. Whoa. I knew when I first saw you that you were passionate. I love it. Uh, he's, he's becoming problematic. You'll have dangerous dash. Beware, sometimes when you play with fire, you get horribly burned. What are a few burns when a man desires something with all his heart? But rest assured, I won't bother the little girl. It's not her that has piqued my interest. Dude, he's a fucking viking, okay? He's a viking. And y are you sure you want to do that? Let's take it water from me because I need you to work hard. Damn it. Why can I never be lucky? <laughs> At least he got rid of both. Oh. Right, his hunger doesn't go down. It's, it's funny that he still accepts the fish though. Like he still takes it. He, he just decides to throw it away. I hope he doesn't freaking hunger himself to death. He has to stop eventually, right? Damn it, I really wanted it to rain. I really wanted it to rain. Um, I don't want to do this and this. You so need a crafting plan. You can improve, increase the shelter population, and I want to do that. Well, that's the next thing we're going to do. I know, I know, we need the forge, I know. But I really want to get a bigger shelter. Everyone's in a really good state here. He's gonna get us some more wood, which is nice. We also want to get more of this, and she needs that. 
Actually, we do have a lot of wood. Oh, but, but 20 is going away now because of the crafting plan. So we actually don't have a lot of wood. Well, again, not making any food. So that's somewhat of a problem. But I want her to be in perfect condition because from tomorrow on I'm gonna gather fresh fruit like a mad person. Um, I just didn't want to do it early because it's just gonna rot away anyway. So um, from tomorrow on we're gonna gather it like crazy. So I w she needs to be perfect. Perfect. Unfortunately, it didn't do a lot for him. He only got 16, but she got 34, so that's awesome. She didn't get too much water. We're probably actually gonna be uh, dry tonight. He's taking care of the wood problem. He's a good woodchuck, and you need a good woodchuck. I don't think there's been a single day where I wasn't woodchucking since I got that thing. It's so important. It's so incredibly important. Yeah. Gonna have to make some water. Mm -hmm. She's still very sick, though. So how about we do? Be because I don't want her to stop gathering after tomorrow for a single moment. So how about we do this? Actually, this does face some problems, so that is that we don't have food now. But he's a good fisher. Let's check out the place. It's a tinder tree. Expect it. Stomach about. Uh, we've seen one before, right? We're gonna check the sap. That decreases depression, if I remember correctly. Let's use it on her. She's also decent with housing. She's way better. Actually, let's use her. Yeah, perfect. Hunger goes down, depression goes down, and we're gonna gather it for everyone. We made meat. Awesome. Not that meat is that important, but... Uh, we're gonna gather some wood. He's gonna be the best one for that. The tree is not in very good health, so finding good branches isn't tricky. Let's gather more, actually. Awesome. You find a piece of wood, you pull it out of the trunk slowly, carefully, uh, careful not to dislodge any strange looking fungus. Let's check the fungus uh, with her. Let's hope that it works. Sweet. That gives us two tinders, so we're actually kind of good in case the fire ever runs out. Though so far it doesn't really seem like um, the fire is about to run out, but still. Now, we're not a bad food-wise, so I think... Uh, I mean, if he makes a really bad roll and only brings home two fish, let's say, we are going hungry tonight, but we could, we could actually all survive one day without food. So if he makes a really bad roll, I think I'd prefer it if she explores. And again, tomorrow she's gonna be perfect and she's just gonna be harvesting all the fruit. Hey, she removed the starving trade, so that's kind of positive. Unfortunately, she's still pretty low on her health. Uh, on her sickness, actually. Only three. Yeah, we're going hungry tonight. Okay, she's leveled up. She found a place. She actually found two places. Okay. Didn't expect that. And she's got an internet counter. Uh, we're gonna take my A team, like always. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, Curry got one armor. Mm, yep. Gonna do this, and then she's immediately gonna do her evasion stance because they move first. So there's a good chance that they decide they want her to hurt. Though those two can't actually attack her. She's in the right place. The good thing is that she moved first. So they're gonna... Those two are gonna go for her. Unfortunately, she can't get her protection up yet. Because she hasn't moved yet. But still, um... This is gonna be okay. Actually, she's, she's almost certain to take damage. Okay, triple fermented ale on him. That's a super strong buff. That's a super strong buff. Especially at the damage resistance. So we're gonna focus on the other one. Actually, since he doesn't really attack, and uh, they can't attack the back row, I don't even feel like I'm... Um, I need to protect her. So I probably should put this on me. But I'm just gonna keep slashing. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This is probably the best way, because now it's Eric's turn. And what I'll do is I'll move up. I won't do this. I'll move up and I can do this, and I'm gonna hit at all three of them. Yeah, at least I did five damage. I think that's not too bad. That's not too bad, actually. Though, arguably, I could have done the same without this, but that's still okay. Yeah, here is all the AP because of the buff. But he's probably gonna stay in the same lane, so she can also do the shot at everyone. And thankfully, he only hit the armor. Um, actually, I don't think the shot at everyone is the best choice here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. That's going to move me up, and then I'm going to random shoot. Damn it, I hit the wrong one. That's what I was afraid of. Mm, let's do that on him. Again, she can't be hit. I don't need to increase the... Oh, that puts me in the first row. I'm such an idiot. God damn it. Oh, big big mistake, big mistake. Yeah, she's gonna have to spend energy protecting her now. Um, but at least he can shout for everyone. Mm. Let's do this. Uh, now the big question is, do I attack again? If I hit him, he's dead. Again, if I hit him, he's dead. Uh, we have 95% chance to hit, yes, we will. I'm not taking the risk. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> it did work after all. Um, she can do that. Nice. He's dead and she's safe. He can only attack them. Um, he, unfortunately, he will do damage now because he does more damage than they can take. But um, we're still pretty unscathed out of this uh, battle. Okay, but we've only taken one damage through the entire battle. That's okay. This could have been way worse. Way worse. We're, we're just gonna slash at him. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep having at him. I'm sure we can kill him. We got only three damage, no nothing permanent. It's okay. Um, he still needs uh, healing eventually, but we got some leather balls, some milk, a little bit of wood, a little bit of rope. We're really low on rope, though. That's not. It's not a great haul, but it's okay. Hmm. Two places to be at. 
do this. So we need stone. We really need stone. We also need it to craft, so we really need to start gathering more stone here. Fruit and leaves. Take the fruit or check the leaves. I'm gonna check the leaves. Let's have a look at it. This heap of leaves intrigues you. It's strange that it was left here, right in the middle of the forest. No one would be foolish enough to abandon such a loot. No, really. You, think, uh, you pick up a branch long enough to attack with the leaves without having to come too close. Then you hit the heap. Nothing happens, which is reassuring. However, you push a fruit that disappears through the leaves before a muffled noise is heard a few seconds later. This surprises you, so you start again with another fruit. And when you hear the noise again, you understand there is indeed something down below. You remove carefully some leaves to see what's underneath, and you make a surprising and worrying discovery. Another heap of leaves, actually held by a small wooden structure. There's a deep hole that seems to have been willingly hidden. Obviously, it's a trap. Okay. Disarm the trap or use the trap? If it's a trap, you might as well use it to your advantage. You may manage to catch an animal with it and bring some food to the camp. You position yourself a little further, making sure you have the uh, trap in your sights. And now all you have to do is wait for an animal to come. Damn it. You wait for a long time, but no animal's coming. This is because you're making too much noise. Oh, okay, let's disarm the trap. Um. <laughs> Gonna take her. The trap structure is very simple. You can easily undo it with your bare hands and get the leaves and the fruit that were on it. However, you're going to have to be careful if you don't want to fall into the hole. Undo the trap carefully and get some medicinal herbs as well as some fruit. You observe the hole, you discover some bones inside and a small dead beast. You got six healing pants, super. Six fresh fruit, awesome. Two cola nuts. Or rappel down. You don't take the risk to go down without a rope. That would be the best way to get stuck inside. It would be bad to get trapped yourself, so take a rope and tie it solidly to tree next to the hole, and you use the other end to go down inside. Once you're at the bottom, you pick up the bones that cover the ground. Then you take care of the animal. You cut it up to get its skin and some meat. It's too bad it's so small. After you picked everything what you could be useful, you go back up to the surface. So we got one bone, four meat, four pelts. Nice. That's an awesome loot. This was a great thing to find. A stern woman. This human alleged woman sitting in a meditative pose, despite the mud on her clothes, showing that she has been sleeping on the ground for a long time. She managed to maintain a certain degree of elegance in her look. Her deep black hair is neatly combed into a sophisticated haircut, which contrasts with a magnificent dragon tattoo covering a large part of her right arm. It's on her left arm. Uh, she's gonna talk to him. Hello? Don't move. The code of honor says that I should warn you. If you move, you die. I come in peace. Why not with Beyond's men? We? We had a camp not far from here. We're a handful of good willing people. Good? I doubt anyone on this island knows the true meaning of this word anymore. But if your intent is really to fight this demon of a man, the code of honor says that I should uh, uh, follow you. I don't trust her. I do trust her. It's just we don't have space. Sorry, no. I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. It's your choice. Farewell. He's probably a good fighter. So let's end the day. Well, I agree. Eustache is not a real monk, right? I have my suspicions too. He's a bit extravagant, but he means well, I think. I don't know. I have a hard time trusting him behind his fake smile. He's lying about many things, but that doesn't mean he's necessarily evil. Yes, we should just confront him fr someday. Things we may have done in the past are not a concern anymore, but his actions now must speak for themselves. I can't stand him. He's not a man. I don't trust him either, but he's really useful to the camp. If you want to keep him out of the camp, I'm in. Let's give him a chance. Really, can't we just talk to him? Good. No. Excellent news. What's gotten into you? 
Kara is not your real daughter. We can get rid of her any time. What? Mora, don't say such things. Come on, smile. Oh, Mora is incredible. Everyone should rejoice. Yeah, yeah. We'll make songs about you when you all have spit it out. Prepare your best cannings, dear sister, because I have found... Hold your breath. Powders! That's all. You learn, stupid Poshko, that these powders can save your life. It's not one of your phony remedies you used to sell to gullible sailors. You know nothing, Jon Snow. These powders have real healing properties. Knowledge only the wisest of the Seven Sages could harness. If what you say is true, Mora, that's great news indeed. We'll need those gifts from the god. <laughs> Here, take these. Alright. Yawn. Excellent. I hope the bonus can regrow heads too, for when Beyond will come for us. Ah, damn it. I mean, I can't just give him one and pray that um, he doesn't get dehydrated tomorrow. But I think I'm just gonna go like this and pray that soon it's gonna be raining again, because lately we've definitely spent too much time gathering water. Thankfully, thanks to everything that happened. We've gotten quite a bit of food. Up, oh, gave it, gave it to the guy on his freaking hunger strike again. Actually, let's save up the fruit. She's no longer coughing. Awesome, but she does need her sickness treated. But oh, our doctor's kind of busy for the next time. Sadness is not really a problem here. Fantastic, it's raining. That frees up her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She gets 5 to 11 fresh fruit. She gets way less. Like, way, way less. Um, okay, who is my best miner? 24. She is really good at it, actually. But she will have to explore. So it's arguably Eric's turn, but he doesn't get any more than he does. Um, I will do this. Health plus two is awesome. He's never exploring. Don't care about that. That's kind of good if we had gotten that first. Let's get the health. He can craft. She's free. She's getting us more fruit. I think I'm gonna have her sleep right now. And then she's gonna do something in the afternoon. But before we all do any of this, let's uh, end the episode here. I'm sorry, I, f I keep forgetting the time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.